and today we are going to show you how to do power calculations on a balanced three-phase circuit. Thank you, Bradley. Okay, so this is problem number 11. Uh, from chapter 11, problem number 31, you have a, um, a balanced three-phase circuit. This is a uh, 1365 angle zero volts here. This is 1365, angle minus 120. This is 1365, angle 120 volts. And um, the source has impedance of J2 ohms plus um, 1.5 ohms. And the load is a delta connected load of 85.5 ohms plus J114 ohms. So the first thing you're going to do is convert the delta connected load into its star connected equivalent. And the reason you want to do that is to find the line current. The reason you want to find the line current is, well, part A, you want, you're looking for the phase current. The phase current leads the line current by 30 degrees. So by knowing the line current, you know the phase current. Um, and also, of course, the root 3. Um, and then part B, uh, power deliver, you just calculate the power delivered to um, dissipate, delivered to the sort uh, to the load and then divided by the uh, complex power and that gives you the percent power delivered by the three phase load three phase source to the load okay so first thing pause the video and try all that on your own so the first thing we want to do is we want to find the star equivalent um, of that delta connect connected load, and that impedance is going to be 85.5 ohms plus 114 J, J114 ohms, and divide all that by 3. When you do that, you should come up with 28.5 J38 ohms as the star connected equivalent. So now we know that we can replace this delta connected load with its star connected equivalent. <clears throat> so that's going to give me twenty eight point five J thirty eight. 28.5 J38, 28.5 J38, this is A, B, C, I, A, A, I, C, C. Um, okay, so now we're going to find those two line currents. It's um, just straight utilization of Ohm's law, voltage over V over Z, voltage over impedance. So IAA is going to be 1365 angle zero over total impedance of J2 ohms plus 1.5 ohms plus 28.5 ohms plus J38 ohms. When you do that, you should come up with a line current value of 27.3 angle negative 53.13 amps. Do the same thing for line current CC. Except for this is angle 120. That will give you ICC is 27.3 angle 66.87 degrees amps. Okay. So now that we know the line currents, the phase current is just the line current divided by root 3 and the leads the line current by 30 degrees. So ICA is going to be 27.3 over root 3, negative 53.13 plus 30 degrees amps. All 
I see a, oops, sorry about that. Pull that one. This should be a CC 2066.87. Sorry about that. So that should be 66.87 plus 30. It's going to be your face current. And that will give you, for part A, will give you 15. 15.76 angle 96.87 degrees amps. For part B, total power dissipated. Well, power dissipated by the three power power dissipated by the three phase load, right? Is just three times the um, IAA squared. The line, the mag, um, the um, magnitude of the current squared times the load, the load of, the real part of the load. And that's going to give you 3 times 27.3 squared, and the real resistance part of the impedance is 28.5. This gives you power dissipated of 63.72 kilowatts. And the complex power is S is equal to VI conjugate. The phase current is, that's going to be 3 times 1365 angle 0 times, and our current is 27.3, our I conjugate is 27.3 angle 53.13 degrees, and when you do that, you should get 67.07 kilowatts. So percentage of power did percentage of power delivered is going to be 63.72 kilowatts over 67.07 kilowatts, which gives you a ratio of 95%. All right, Bradley, end the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, favorite, comment, and thank you for watching. Thanks, Bradley.